Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform sectionalizing on an easy thump and a smart thump. Now, let's get started. In this video, we will be going over sectionalizing on the easy thump and the smart thump. For a brief connection overview, first, Apply your equipment safety ground to ground. Then apply your high voltage return lead to the concentric neutral or shield under test. Finally, place your high voltage output lead to the cable under test. To get to sectionalizing on a Smart Thump 25, go to pre location. Once selected, sectionalizing will be on your far left. Once selected, you will come across this screen which shows searching for the cable's end. This here starts the TDR process. Once the TDR trace is complete, I will ask you to confirm the cable's length. After confirming the cable's end, it will prompt you to start the fault trace. Before starting the fault trace, it will ask you to input a voltage. A good rule of thumb on the voltage selection is to use 2kV over the breakdown voltage from the high pot. If you did not conduct a high pot test, go 2kV over the face to ground voltage. Once the desired voltage is selected, it will prompt you to the screen and ask you to push the green HV on button. Once the green button is selected, then it will start to build the high voltage. The unit will now build the high voltage until it reaches the desired voltage and then release it. After the unit releases the high voltage pulse, it will then discharge. Once you have your fault trace, then you can identify your transformers, exit, or retry a fault trace. After selecting identified transformers, you will come to this screen for a brief moment. After the transformers are identified and sectionalizing is complete, now you can start your pinpointing or thumping. This concludes how to perform sectionalizing on an easy thump and a smart thump. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any support that you may need for your electrical testing.